Hi guys, so this channel mainly deals with Brexit and in your face examples of how Brexit is impacting people's lives. Something that has remained under the radar for a long time is how as part of Brexit and now following the pandemic, the selling of the NHS will speed up. It is all happening in a slow drip drip manner, which is often not seen by the public. I want to share with you a comment posted by an American citizen who's warning the UK against letting the NHS be sold off. It says, I'm an American citizen married to an English woman and living in the UK. My admonition to UK citizens is to fight to your very last breath to keep US style healthcare out of your country and to defend your NHS as if your life depends on it, because it will. Yes, the NHS is being sold off piecemeal, little by little. It will not be the case of one day you wake up and it's privatised. It will happen over many years. He goes on to say, When my wife was living with me in the US, I couldn't get her to go to a doctor because she was afraid of how much it would cost. And we have health insurance. I have witnessed your NHS treat her for a basal cell carcinoma via surgery and subsequent radiation therapy. And this year she was diagnosed with mitral valve failure, which was brilliantly repaired by the NHS cardiac surgeon. Many people around the world have complimented the NHS on its level of service. Many British people don't fully understand the true value of having a healthcare system like it. Her care has been exemplary and it hasn't cost us a single penny. When I tell my US friends all about this, their jaws drop. They would literally do anything to have such a system available to them. Do not let the US healthcare companies get their fingers into your NHS. The thing is, it isn't free. It's paid for through taxes. This is why it's so difficult, in my opinion, to sell a single-payer healthcare system to the American public. Americans are taught from a very early age that taxes are bad and taxes are too high. Studies have shown that an NHS-style system in the US would be much cheaper than the current model. The problem is that you have a massive divide between the rich and the poor, and the rich don't want to pay for the poor's healthcare. They prefer the every man for himself approach when it comes to social issues, be it healthcare or dealing with the criminal justice system. He finally says this, you will regret it for generations. Yes, it's been taken away and once it goes, it will be almost impossible to get back. And then we have this story from iNews. Private hospital groups set to profit from massive NHS backlog in wave of new deals. The Tories are using the pandemic to help speed up the sale of the NHS, get private healthcare providers involved and demonstrate to the public that they can provide a similar service at a cheaper price. Then you're already halfway there. The NHS is one of the best healthcare systems in the world. Sadly, I have to say one-off, as it has slipped over the last year and has now been taken over by some in Europe. This is no accident. This is by design. The Tories have never had any love for the NHS. It was introduced by a Labour government, their greatest achievement in many people's eyes. The Tories want rid of it. The NHS has looked after British people from cradle to grave. It has been a shining example for healthcare systems around the world, one that prioritises people over cost, something that we need to emulate in other parts of society. We must not let the Tories succeed. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think as always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee, so why not check it out?